Um, what's your uh, – how are you feeling about finally, hope, hopefully, getting back to work on Saturday in a real game situation? How trying it feels, has it been for you? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, the last – the last time we were supposed to play, we had something unexpected happen. And so um, just the ability to get out here and um, actually get to play with my teammates and play against people now um, is we're just looking forward to it. We're super excited. And how have you adapted to your leadership role through all this? Because obviously you being an upperclassman, um, I know it's tough on you when you don't play, but imagine uh, your teammates, your younger teammates are looking for help. Right. I mean, it's a completely different role than what I've been used to the past two years. So um, the adjustment has definitely um, been re like really unique for me, at least. But it helps having, you know, two great leaders, two by my side, Christian and Vina, uh, to go through this process with. And I think, you know, as we're figuring things out and growing, um, it's actually just it's really fun, you know, with them. Just having a group of group of us three uh, figuring things out but at the same time just trying to lead the younger guys and so um, i'm just super excited about this season hey olivia i hope you're doing well uh with Good. the first game two days away now where do you feel the team is with um just at, at this point before the first game where do you feel like the team is i think we're mentally in a very good place and I think there's just this eagerness and enthusiasm to play. And, um, you know, of course, there's going to be little nerves and, you know, people anxious and whatnot. But overall, we're just very eager, very hungry to, or hungry to play. You know, Gino actually said that he didn't think you guys were uh, very mentally sharp recently. He didn't think there was a whole lot of concentration and focus. But you feel like the team's in a good spot mentally? I mean, besides those little things that we need to work on, um, you know, that'll come, especially, you know, throughout the season. But those are, in our, in my opinion, easier to fix. But I think as an entire team, as a unit, I think we're in a good mental sp uh, space to play. Liv, how trying has this whole thing been on you? And, and uh, who have you been hanging out with pod-wise to help you get through this? Well, in my pod is um, Anna, Amir, and Aaliyah. And so, you know, when we were in quarantine and stuff, um, just kind of with our pod, um, it's definitely a struggle because as a team, we're super close. So we always want to be around each other, always want to be together and stuff. And so when we're kind of separated like that, um, it can get a little bit difficult. It's a little annoying and stuff. But, you know, now that we're able to, to mix together, intermingle with each other again, um, we have no problems, no problems with that. Now, Gino mentioned uh, no going home for Christmas. And I guess that's, that's your choice. And it's funny, too, because... Coach Cav asked the same thing of his hockey team to the point where he would cancel a weekend series with New Hampshire over New Year's weekend when they got back, and they all decided we want to stay and play. What is that, you know, you know, in a year where people think we shouldn't be doing this, but to hear it, hear differently from the kids who put in so much time and effort to want to do this, to actually want to stay and do this, that says a lot about you guys, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it comes down to just not taking these games for granted because, like, what we've been able to witness so far, it can all be snatched away so quickly at any time, you know, in March and then even um, a few weeks ago for us. And so, you know, just knowing, like, that in the back of our head that, you know, not every game is guaranteed kind of encourages us to, to stay around and, um, you know, not go home for that risk of, you know, coming back with something or, you know, putting other people at risk. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Olivia, what can you say about where Mir is? Because I was listening to Coach's show with Bob, uh, where Gino said that she's a really good rebounder, she's really good on defense, and she's really good at getting to the basket. And that sounds a lot like what Aubrey was as a freshman. So what have you seen from Mir? Yeah, definitely. I mean, she's super strong, and I think that really helps her, especially with her size. So she's out there rebounding, um, very aggressive rebounder, very aggressive on defense, willing to take those charges, willing to do the little things like that. And I think that's exactly what we need to on this team is just having somebody willing to kind of put their, their body on the line for those plays like that. And I think that's exactly what she's, she's very good at. Thank you.